Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. Uh uh, uh uh. Unless you want to become a man. I'm gonna pass out. No, I don't wanna be a man. Mommy's hilarious. She is a funny. Stop. I don't think a lot of Gemini's are funny. Okay. So okay. really see it. Okay. Sometimes we develop allergies in life. Sometimes we gain them. Sometimes we lose them. And then we talked about mm -hmm. surgery. So I'm getting the revision on my breasts. I'm going through loots with the doctors. I'm trying to get this approval and it's getting a little frustrated. It's something that I've been waiting to have for quite a while now. So hopefully that I get the approval as soon as possible because, you know, it will make me feel a whole lot better just getting it done and over with. I got the report from the last surgeon. Yeah, Dr. and Kim. you know what I think it was? Because we send a lot of people for top surgery who want to be masculine oh, okay. from the center. So maybe he just got confused. It just didn't apply to me. I think that was a stereotype. You know what? Normal, everyday, I get stereotyped all the time and you know, it really doesn't bother me honestly because other people's perceptions of me or what they do not understand in everyday passing, I don't really care. But when it comes to someone that's close to you or a professional like a doctor, it kind of hits a little different because you're supposed to know better than that. So to be stereotyped in that kind of situation you know, kind of rubs me the wrong way. And you know, I don't, I'm not really feeling it. Yeah. You know? To the lab, you know where it is? Yeah. So just um, finished my consultation with my new primary doctor, Dr. Olivia. She's real cool. She's actually um, Zakia's primary doctor. Really wasn't um, comfortable with my last one. Not that he made me uncomfortable at all. Just certain things just wasn't as easy to talk to him about and get an easy resolution. You know, what kind of, it's kind of hard finding a doctor, period. As a human being, as a black person, it's just hard. As a masculine woman, I don't think it's hard to find a doctor just based off of my masculinity. I just think it's hard to find a doctor based off of being black because I've had doctors that will overlook or that will be very short and won't really spend the time to really figure out what's wrong with you and feel like that there's some kind of compassion there. So I've changed doctors so many times until I landed with the right doctor that I felt comfortable with, that actually cared, and that's all past the color of your skin. And I know it's hard to believe you think that and when it comes to medical that you sh everyone is treated fairly, but it's not true. So if anything, it's, um, it's, it's hard to find a doctor as a minority versus because of my sexual preference. Um, let me switch over to Dr. Olivia. So shout out to her. It was good. My blood pressure was good. About to head out. I gotta actually get some blood work done. So let's go get some blood work. And you just Oh my god. Ah. Uh, we'll use the baby needle on. Oh. Uh, that doesn't make me feel any better. It's the small the ones that hurt. It's always the small ones that hurt. I feel like when I was younger, I never was scared to get. Oh, uh, maybe at some point. But I feel like it was at some point where I did not feel afraid to get needles or get blood drawn. But it's something about adulthood. <laughs> you start, I don't know if it's maturity, but you just start paying attention to things a little more than when you did. You know, you don't get no lollipop at the end of this. Okay, you get a Band-Aid and you go home. It just hit a little different now. My baby is so cute. I didn't even know that she was afraid of getting 
a shot or getting blood drawn. So it's so cute and so sweet to see her, you know, need me and be a little vulnerable. I love babying her, I love taking care of her. And I don't really get to see that side that often. So when I do, it just makes me remember that um, she's not all, you know, hard and strong all the time. And, she needs me just the same way that I need her, and I love that. Hey, I do not like it either. Oh, she's taking a lot. But I like tattoos. You know, with tattoos, it's uh, give me this beautiful art that I want. So it's kind of like knowing what the end result is going to be. You don't get that when you get blood drawn. You might even faint. You know, like I said, you, the, the, the most you're going to get is a cotton ball and a band-aid. All that pain for nothing. Hey, it's not the same, trust me. I have like same. my whole right side is done. No. And my side is done. Oh, hell it's no. a problem. Like. They're like, yeah. I'm like, no, don't even go there. Yeah, for real, <laughs> right? Mind you, you better than me. I, I used to pass out every time. Really? That's my brother. <laughs> oh, I never passed out. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hold <laughs> on. Just wake me up. Yeah, let me get comfortable. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What do you need from me, babe? It's always something I have to do. So we are at Best Buy. We needed to get some equipment because we're running out of space. We're running out of storage. So we needed to get a new Lacey to go along with our other one. And we're here to pick it up. So hopefully they have it in stock and we're able to just go ahead and grab one. Why? Why does it always feel like when you go into Best Buy, only Best Buy, and you need something, you need to get something out of a shelf, it's never anyone where they're supposed to be. It is so annoying. If I need help, I gotta go all the way to the front of the store to ask the security guard to find me somebody. It's ridiculous. They need to hire more people at this point. Like, y'all are a multi-billion dollar business. I'm telling you, I know y'all can hire some more people. It is so annoying. Like, I want this actually. I really want one of these. Not because I need it, just because it's cute. If you knew <laughs> the amount of things that girls, that my baby wants, all because it's so cute and pretty. Drinks, makeup, whatever it is, you name it. If It's all about marketing. If it has a pretty label, it's like, ooh. And then as soon as you drink it, it's like, ugh. So I'm not fooled by that. But yes, girls, they like pretty things. So I get it. Um, yes, where is the lacy? You see where those are? <laughs> they're waiting for them too. The rugged, the, the one with the orange. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also waiting for the same thing. Uh, they should be out here, yeah. They, they normally carry two. She's so fun. <laughs> <coughs> Why they do that shit here? Starbies. Oh, this is something. You gonna be my little John. John. Who says John? You ain't know me too. We don't say that shit. Right? Yeah. Get your old Midwest, East St. Louis, Chicago ass out of here. Dang. 